Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to be doing my beauty inventory for 2018, beginning of the year. I actually got all these numbers done at the very beginning of January before I made any purchases in the new year of 2018. So my numbers are a little bit different now that I've made some purchases and used up some products. So I mean, the numbers that I go over are definitely the ones from the beginning of the year and the ones I want to stick to and leave on that paper because I want to see how my numbers are changing. So a quick disclaimer, I know everybody gives disclaimers, but this is not me like bragging about my collection. This is not me showing you that you should have this many products or showing you how little I have if you think that beauty influencers or beauty YouTubers should have like this crazy huge room collection like Tati. I mean, that's just not realistic for me being a typical consumer and a working mom. So I am just here to show you guys what I have and actually just to keep record of it for myself more than anything because I really want to see my numbers go down. I think I have way too much in tons of my different categories and I didn't set goals like a lot of people do because I don't want to limit myself if I have if there's a new release blush that I really want to pick up and review for you guys, I want to be able to just pick it up and review it, for instance. Or if, you know, like the chocolate, the Too Faced Melted Gold palette, I just picked up because I really want to review it for you guys. So stuff like that, I don't want to limit myself. But I also know that I have a lot of stuff in my collection for being a typical consumer and not being this huge, you know, 1,000 subscri subscriber channel. And that's okay for me because I love doing this. I love using different products and I really enjoy what I have. And the things that I don't enjoy, I'm either using up or I'm decluttering and giving to friends or family. So I don't feel bad about it because I know I'm giving them to people that are going to use them and are going to enjoy them. So. That's my little disclaimer about this and yeah. I hope you guys like this setup that I did for this video. I kind of, I didn't want to just like sit here and just like show you the products and stuff. So I am doing this setup a little bit differently than I thought I was going to do it in my head. So I hope you guys enjoy this setup and I only showed you a few products from each category because to get the entire collection out of each category was just it's too much and it literally wouldn't even fit in the screen. So that's just silly for me to do that. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy this and let me know if your numbers are similar or very different than mine. And also I plan on doing a six month update in July and then a year long update next year in January of 2019 so that I can really see how my numbers are changing and you know, categories that I don't really need like concealers. I don't need liquid concealers. I don't ever use them. I literally have them sitting there and I tried to use up two last year and they're just, I just can't use them. I don't enjoy using them. They don't work well for me. They don't look good on me. I just don't like them. So why do I have them? You know? So little stuff like that I plan on going through in this year and especially with my shop my stash videos, I'm really finding what I like and what I don't like. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know in the comments below any, you know, changes or additions or anything like that you think I should make to this um, to this inventory video and let's just get right into it. It's going to be a little bit long, but I go over the category that I'm talking about, the, um, the number of items that I have in that category, the average estimated cost in that category, and then how much it would cost total. So I'm basically multiplying the number of items by the average cost. So I hope you guys enjoy this layout and I just kind of wanted to do this to see how much my collection was worth if I were to lose it all today in a fire. So yeah, I hope you enjoy once again. I know I said that a million times, but this is a different video and it's a little stressful to put up for me because now everybody gets to see my collection and it's, it's a little stressful. I'm just saying. Okay, <sighs> I'm having like anxiety about posting this by the way. Anyways, okay. I guess I'll just post it. So I hope you enjoy this and okay, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my ColourPop lippy sticks. I have a lot to get through, so I'm gonna kind of get through each category pretty quickly here, but I am just displaying five of my favorite colors here of my ColourPop lippy sticks. 
So here I have Cami, it's a matte X. I have Cookie, Taurus, Aquarius, and Frida, which Frida is a discontinued color. Unfortunately, it's one of my favorites and I don't wanna finish it up, it's almost gone. But I have 53 ColourPop lippy sticks in different formulas and I estimated the cost at $5 each because that's what they cost on a normal basis. I've gotten most of them on sale though but I'm just guesstimating everything at full price cost. And so that would create my total cost for this category at $265. And yeah, 53 is a lot <laughs> of lipsticks to have, especially because these don't go very fast. So yeah, that is my ColourPop lippy sticks. So for bullet lipsticks, these are just some examples. I have a Wander Beauty Dual Ended. I love that one. This is a Drugstore Wet n Wild. This is a Bite Beauty Multi Stick in Cashew, one of my favorites. And this is Maybelline Gone Grage. This is 1993 by Urban Decay. Love this one. But these are just a few from my bullet lipstick category. And I have 90 full size bullet lipsticks. And I estimated the cost at $8 because I have a wide range of drugstore and high end. And that would create my total cost at $720 for my bullet lipsticks. For liquid lipsticks, I have a wide range of different brands of liquid lipsticks, but I do have a lot of ColourPop. So I have 63 liquid lipsticks and I estimated the cost at $7 each. And that would create my total at $441. So for lip glosses, I estimated I have... So for lip glosses, I have about 90 lip glosses, which I love lip glosses. I wear them on the regular. And I estimated the average cost at $6 each. And that would put me at $540 for all of my lip glosses. Holy crap. For lip liners, I have 11 total lip liners and I average the cost at about $5 each and that puts me at $55 for all of my lip liners. For chapsticks, I have 27 total chapsticks, which that number has actually gone down since I originally took these numbers because I've used up a few. But I'm just using the numbers that I used in January. So I had 27 chapsticks and I estimated the cost at about $3 each and that puts me at $81 total for chapsticks. For eyeshadow palettes, I have 57 eyeshadow palettes. Holy crap. And I estimated the average cost at about $38. I do have a lot more high end than I have drugstore, but I do have quite a few drugstore or like BH Cosmetics, Morphe type of things. So I estimated about $38 each, and that puts me at $2,166 total for my eyeshadow palette collection. My ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, I have 40 total, opened and unopened, and I estimated them at $5 each, assuming that I got them all at regular price, and that puts me at $200 total for my Super Shock Shadows. So for all of my different types of brow products, I don't have many, I only have five total, and I estimated the cost at $8 each, and that puts me at only $40 for total brow products. Sorry, Mantis wants to be involved once again. For my black eyeliners, liquid and gel or kajal eyeliners, I have 23 total and I estimated the cost at $6 each and that puts me at $138 total for black eyeliners. For colored eyeliners, all different types. I pretty much all have gel though. I estimated the cost at $5 each and I have 30 total so that puts me at $150 total for colored eye products or eye liners. For mascaras I have a total of 26 mascaras estimated at $12 each that puts me at $312 total for mascaras and that's full size mascaras. For primers, I have a total of 16 primers and I did include a few sample sizes in there and I estimated at $10 for each and that puts me at $160. I know I'm only showing probably less than $10 products here but I cannot find any of my high-end primers right now so I think they're in my drawers for usage but yeah. 
For liquid foundations, I have 18 total high-end and drugstore, and I estimated it at about $8 each because I have mostly drugstore, and that puts me at $144 total. For concealers, I only have six. I don't know where my sixth concealer is. It is somewhere. Cannot find it, apparently. So, for concealers, I have six, and I estimated the total cost at $6 and that would cost me $36 total. This is definitely my lowest category of anything because I don't typically use liquid concealers. For setting sprays, I have a total of 13 setting sprays estimated at $15 each, and that puts me at $195 total. This category I called loose face powders. That includes all setting powders, like the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, and all my powder foundations, like my Tarte and my Bare Minerals. So I just called these all loose face powders. And I have a total of seven, and I estimated the cost at $12 each, and that puts me at $84. So this category, similarly, I called pressed face powders, whether they're setting powders or powder foundations and I have a total of 21 and I estimated the cost at $15 each and puts me at $315 total. So this is obviously my highlighter category. I have 39 total highlighters in my drawer and I estimated the cost at $16 each. That puts me at $624 total for highlighters. Highlighting is one of my favorite categories ever. I love highlighters, different kinds for a more glowy look or a more natural finish. I love highlighters, they're so much fun. So this is obvious that I would have a bunch. Blushes are also another category that I absolutely love and enjoy switching them up and wearing different blushes with different looks. So I have a total of 40 blushes in my collection, estimated at $12 each for a total of $480. So for the bronzer category, I have 20 bronzers, estimated at $12 each. That puts me at $240 total for bronzers. For face palettes, I have a total of four face palettes, estimated at $25 each for $100 total. For nail polish, I have a total of 34 nail polishes, estimated at $7 each for a total of $238. For full-size perfumes, I have five total. I have since gotten a few more, so it'll change. But when I did this, I had five total at a cost of $50 each, and that puts me at $250 total. For body mists, I don't have very many. I've used up quite a few, but I had a total of five estimated at $8 each, and that puts me at $40 total for body mists. The rest of these categories, I'm not gonna show you examples of because they are just the small things. So I'm gonna show you my sheet here. So for body wash, I have an estimated total of 18 at $3 each, and that puts me at 54. For body lotions, I have 31 total at estimated $8 each at $248 total. For hand soaps, we have 14 estimated at $2 each at $28 total. For makeup samples, I have 68. I have since gotten some and used some up, so that number has probably been changed. But that puts me at $3 each sample at $204 total. For skincare samples, I have 67 that I estimated at $3 each at $201 total. Hair care samples, I have 28 estimated at $3 each at $84 total. For face masks, I have 39 estimated at $3 each at $117 total. For foil packet samples, and that includes all types, hair care, skin care, everything, I have 55 estimated at $1 each, and that puts me at $55. For fragrance samples, I have 36 estimated at $2 each, and that puts me at $72 total. So my total numbers, I have 1,098 products estimated at $9,077. I know my collection has changed even since the beginning of the year when I did this, 
and I will do an update in six months for you guys to show you what my new numbers are after six months. I'm hoping to bring this number down, but just by the products that I've purchased, I purchased a fewer very high priced items that I got on really good deals or as a anniversary gift. So this number is definitely gonna change. So this is my total makeup inventory. You can pause the screen if you'd like to look at something specific or if you wanted to look at my numbers a little bit more closely. But this is my full inventory of everything that I categorize as a cost to me. And yeah, so I will do these same categories and hopefully some of them will diminish like my concealer category. I only have six and honestly, I'm pretty much gonna declutter most of them. I don't use concealers, stuff like that. I've been using up my setting sprays quite quickly. I've been using up my body mist quite quickly. So I see some of these categories going down significantly from where I started. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this total makeup inventory for January of 2018. Like I said, I will do an update in six months and an update in next year in January 2019 to see how my numbers have changed. But I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.